Welcome back to the Red Dice Diaries and in this video review I'm going to be looking at the PDF version of Jade Tech Black Jade by Reroll Productions written by Jacob Posey. Now you can see my original link to all the various different reviews of Jade Punk products that I've done by clicking just there. This is the latest in a number of supplements for Jade Punk, each dealing with a different type of jade and as i said you can see the other reviews of the earlier supplements i've done by clicking on the link there the pdf is approximately 16 pages long and it only costs a few dollars in us money which is about two pounds in english money the cover continues the layout from previous jade supplements this time showing an orb of black jade in the artwork this is portrayed using a dark purple coloration since flat black would be ridiculously difficult to make look good however the purple does a good job and it adequately conveys the dark nature of black jade the opening fiction tells the story of shen a two yangan jtech engineer attempting to break free from the clutches of his previous employer the four winds trading company unwilling to take any measure to prevent them abusing his jade tech designs the fiction is nice and lively moving along at a fairly rapid pace doing a great job of providing a snapshot view of one of the possible uses of black jade we then move on to looking at where black jade is found and what properties it has black jade is the rarest of jades in the world until its discovery in the kausau region a discovery which led directly to the founding of kausau city and a sort of jade renaissance in the game world it was widely believed to be little more than a myth one of the things i like about this book and that in my opinion sets it apart from the other entries in this series is that the powers and origins of black jade are not given a single 100 percent defined explanation a number of different theories are presented for the gm to either choose from or ignore as they see fit now i've always been a fan of providing toolkits for gms rather than trying to lock everything down in a campaign setting so i really enjoyed this i think it's a great way of preserving some mystery about the setting while still giving gms ideas and plot hooks black jade was originally discovered in the kausar region leading to the great nation's formation and their interest in the area also the initial conflict and later development of kausar city the book also hints that there may be other hidden deposits of black jade in long forgotten corners of the world and I think the search for these deposits could make an excellent and interesting campaign on its own for people who wanted to get out of Kausau City in their game. Not so much is mentioned about how Black Jade is refined or treated in the book, but this is entirely understandable given that the properties of Black Jade are a little more loosely defined and open to interpretation than with previous colours of Jade. What the book does an excellent job of is presenting the different theories from the cosmic mind theory to the negation theory that JTEC engineers and philosophers have come up with trying to explain the often contradictory nature of black jade. I was pleased when reading this to find that one of the theories is very similar to the one that I use for dealing with black jade in my own recently concluded jade punk campaign. We then move on to how it's used in everyday life. Now, black jade, unlike other colours, isn't really used in everyday life since it's rare and its use is highly restricted. However, there are dark rumours floating around it. Talk of those who work on refining black jade going mad or experiencing vivid hallucinations of the past and future. Some even speak of those lost in the depths of the black egg, a sort of black jade madness where the afflicted see the past and future merging together speaking of a terrible future doom that approaches Kausau, destined to arrive after a great war and a celestial body falling from the sky given that the doom of Kausau in my own campaign setting was brought about by a floating fortress being dropped on the city this section did make me smile the layout style has been kept from previous books in the series information box outs are separated either with torn parchment scraps or in splats of color this time in the deep purple of the cover keeping the layout theme constant between this book and its predecessor keeps the theme of the series going keeps them internally consistent but having the colors being different in each of the supplements is a nice way of reminding you and reinforcing which sort of jade you're actually dealing with of particular interest to me is a parchment box out discussing how to deal with prophecies and portents in a jade punk game 
the author suggests rolling to overcome or create an advantage and then as a result either the player or the gm creates an aspect dealing with the prophecy the aspect lasts until the event occurs and can be invoked or compelled as normal and i think that's a nice simple but neat way of doing it allowing you to compel aspects to steer things a little bit in the direction of the various prophecies and prophesized events without 100% locking a player into it and removing any player choice. The book rounds off with a number of ready-made assets from black jade happy pills to hallucinogenic teas and soul raving swords. The assets are all very interesting and in my opinion show a bit more variety than in previous books given the uncertain nature of Black Jade. As with the other books in this series, Black Jade provides interesting new options for both GMs and players alike, adding an extra level of detail to the world. If you're interested in Jade Punk, or you want to see how a skills-based magic system works, or you're interested in the potential plot side effects of prophecies, foretelling, etc., then you really can't go far wrong with this supplement. It's extremely reasonably priced. The layout is nice and clean with some very interesting fiction. The artwork, whilst minimal, complements the design of the overall PDF. And it does all of this without adding a great deal of extra complexity to the elegant rule system of fate. So I highly recommend it. And if you have any interest in martial arts hijinks or as i say skill-based magic or just fate as a whole the asset system for instance being a great example of how the stunt system can be adapted to give a little bit more detail without much more complexity then i really suggest you give this a look and i'll put a link down below in the description to where you can find it on drive through rpg so there you are i hope if you've enjoyed this short review that you'll consider clicking on the red dice up there in the corner to subscribe to my channel if you like this video hit it with a thumbs up if you didn't hit it with a thumbs down as always if you have any comments please feel free to post them in the comments box below or hit me up in the google plus links i really do enjoy reading what you write so until i see you next time take care and happy gaming